with me now, AFC Wimbledon assistant manager Terry Skimson. Terry, we're building up to an FA Cup first round replay against Weymouth. I guess we're looking to cause them more of a threat than we did on the first meeting. Yeah, I think this is where you've got to realise that <clears throat> um, I've got sort of inside information on, uh, on Weymouth because of um, the close rivalry with, with the Oval Town. And um, it took a replay when I was at Yeovil to, to beat Weymouth and it went to penalties. And it was a real sort of tense, tight affair. And, and when you go to them little grounds and ones that are really tight and the supporters are all packed in, and especially with the conditions as well, that was the one thing really that maybe we didn't take into account in that first game, how difficult it was to defend that half. And uh, first half we was we were very comfortable and then second half we was very uncomfortable because of the, you know, every time the keeper was kicking it, it was getting swinging into that, um, our sort of left hand side and it was really tough to get out. So, you know, from us now being at home and it being a bit more of a, you know, a, a surface that's going to be more conducive to us, um, yeah, we're going to be looking to, to, to turn that result around. And, um, you know, the lads, the lads knew that we got away with one. But also we knew that you know we had to dig in and we had to defend really well for 45 minutes. And um, you know on, on the confidence and the run that we have been on, um, the boys are all buoyant. Training was really you know really intense, but real sort of you could see the the camaraderie with the players that was you know that was resting. They was all around the pitch supporting the boys. So no, the you know the, the football club, the team, we're in a good place at the moment, and we need to make sure that we're. You know, we're buoyant and we're ready for the challenge that, that awaits us in the FA Cup. Having come up against Weymouth, what have we learned about them though? Just to, it's, you can, on a, on a one-off, it's a tough game. You know, they've been struggling in the league, they had a really good result the weekend. Um, you know, new managers come in with new ideas and brought a freshness to them. So, you know, we have to stand up to that, but we have to make sure that we bring our game to the party this time. And, um, you know, and if we do that, you know, I, I know that we will be okay. But we've got to make sure that we perform and just really concentrate on ourselves being better rather than worrying about positions. Ava Sound missed the game at Salford City on Saturday. Where does he figure in your thinking for this one? Well, he'll come straight back into the squad. And uh, you know, now we've got Piercy, uh, Marshy's back. And there's one or two that may be on the horizons as well that's coming back in the next, next month or so. So things are looking good. And um, as I said before, the squad's in a good place. Um, when these games are coming around thick and fast like they are, um, league games, FA Cup replays, it's, it's one that we're looking to with optimism and making sure that we go in there and we really want to put a real good performance on for our home fans under the lights because as we know it's, it is special when you get a good atmosphere there at Plough Lane. You gave a couple of players um, an opportunity to stake a claim on Saturday in the absence of Ayub. What were your thoughts on that and also what have they got to do in future to make an impression upon the manager? Yeah, I think the players that have come in have done fantastic, especially on the run that we've been as well, so they've kept that momentum and um, as you can see from the game that we played against Portsmouth, it was a magnificent performance with so many changes and the shape, um, the organisation and the aggressiveness and the way we played looked exactly the same as it did from the, from the game before, so we've got a real good way of playing, um, everybody's buying into it and when people are coming in and they're, they're getting their chance to stake a claim for the shirt, they're not letting themselves down. So we're really pleased with everybody, but it's a, it's a massive squad effort and we're going to need everybody because our squad isn't, isn't that big. And we need to make sure that you know, the players that are coming in with the sessions that we do, as you can see today, there's real intensity so that when they do step in, they're, they're up to speed with, with helping us perform and win games of football. I mentioned it to Johnny as well, there are a number of players that are sailing close to a suspension Paul Callumby picked up a fifth yellow card at the weekend, but because that's in different competitions, presumably he's still he's still okay to figure tomorrow night, yeah. That's right, yeah. With the FA Cup and the Cup competitions, it does make it a lot more complicated for um, for our secretary. So uh, we've had we've had some issues with that before, but now it's it's one of them things where we we highlight it to the lads, and we have to try and make sure that there's no silly bookings. And um, we've had one or two of them in the past, but we sort of deal with that internally and the lessons have got to be there. But yeah, we've got one more game to get through on Saturday. Um, but if there's a tackle to be made, or if there's a clever foul that has to be made, then we're not saying not to do that. We're saying you've got to put your body on the line, you've got to make sure that you're, you're giving your best, because we have uh, had to identify we have been giving too many fouls away, especially late on in games and people start loading your box. So we've worked on staying on your feet, making sure that we show wide and, um, and defending better. And I especially thought against you know, Salford, our defending was magnificent, our shape looked good, 
and you know we should have had one or two goals really. So although we drew the game, we were disappointed, but we're keeping this run going, and we need to make sure that we go into Tuesday with the right attitude, the right frame of mind, and look to win the game. In particular, Jack Curry putting another great shift on Saturday. He looked a little bit sort of tired at the end of the game afterwards. How is he? Is there any further injury news after the game? No, he's, no, he's, he's a very resilient young man. Um, he's come into this team where he's had the year on loan last year. We've got a few of our younger players that are out on loan at the moment that are looking to maybe come back or come back for next year and have that sort of, I call it, what it is, you get a lot of players and they're not used to a campaign. They're used to little battles where they'll play out on loan for a month and then they'll come back and they're sub. And, but Jack's knowing what it's like now to play when you're tired, to play when you've got little knocks and, um, and injuries. And there's a few of the players that are, that are having to put up with that and having to do it. But they're very, very adaptable, very resilient. We've got some real good, resilient young men here. And um, now they, um, they, they're ready to go out again. And, um, We've got really good recovery protocols here with uh, with CMAC and and the work Tim with the work that the um, you know the support staff do behind the scenes and they'll all be they'll all be raring to go for tomorrow night. On the subject of players coming back, the gaffer mentioned last week Nathan Young Coombs he's back training with Brentford. There were discussions planned for this week with them about him coming back to us. Are we any more sort of closer to that happening? Well, I don't want to say too much because uh, other people will be watching these interviews, but. No, it's, uh, I've been having dialogue myself with um, Stephen Presley, who's really good with the two boys, speak to him on a regular basis about the, um, about the players that we've got on loan from there, and it's, it's a real good dialogue. And yeah, Nathan's chomping at the bit. He, I think you can see he's been here the last few games now, and uh, now he's very, very close to returning, and we, uh, we can't wait for him to be back in the building because he's such an infectious character. He always wants to score goals, get on the ball, and, uh, and the lads love him. So he's, uh, he'll be a welcome return. Absolutely. And on the subject of players who are currently out on loan, as you were saying, the likes of Ben Mason, who's been doing very well at Basingstoke, and in particular, you know, we can't escape the fact that, that Zach Robinson's been banging them and he's got eight goals up at Dundee now. So where are they in your thinking at the moment? Listen, we, we, know, we know where they are. We know what they're doing. Um, we're having regular contact and um, we're watching highlights and clips on them. And you know it's really good because we've got so many young players in the building, and so many that are staking a, a claim, staking a place. And you know we're we're mindful of everyone, but we've put in place these sort of protocols to get people minutes, to get people goals, so that when they do come back, they're, they're not undercooked. So for us, it's monitoring, measuring, and uh, making sure that obviously we put performances in, but keeping an eye on them so that when they're ready to come back. There will be, uh, you know, that that will be put in place. So just to wrap up, let's talk about the cup tie again. Um, how much do you want that kind of atmosphere that we had last Tuesday against Lake Knowing? If the Dons fans can recreate that tomorrow night, I mean, it was electric, wasn't it? You know, especially with the, um, you know, with the with the pomp and the, the thing beforehand with the, the the bugler. I mean, it was a real emotional occasion before the kickoff, and I think the players really respond to the fans really getting out early. And even when the game was dead and it was a little bit edgy early on, we could really feel um, there was like real positive vibes around the terraces. And we felt that. We felt that as a group. We felt that as a staff. And certainly the players were talking about it afterwards. And, you know, we've had to sort of adjust and, and, and think of what the supporters want. And uh, they want to see us get towards the box a lot quicker. And there's certain ways of doing that. And I feel that the way that we've been playing, especially recently, uh, we're giving them something to really get behind early, and um, we want to get out. We want to start fast, and we want to get the supporters going because when they do, wow! I mean, it's it's second to none the atmosphere there, and you know, I mean, coming back on after the game on Saturday, the supporters were on the train with us, and there was you can feel that they are so much behind us, and they want us to win, and they're starting to they're starting to see us get good results and perform well, and you know, I think the club's really coming together, and we've got to keep this momentum because you know, they deserve so much more and we've got to really fight to, to give them that and to go and win games of football and there's no better feeling than, than winning at Plough Lane. Anywhere else up down the country doesn't come close to that. I mean, some of the last minute wins and performances against the top teams, but we've got to go and do it again. Just finally as well, I guess obviously with that rivalry between uh, Yeovil and Weymouth as you've touched upon, are you expecting another warm reception yourself from there? 
fans tomorrow night? Yeah, I've, I mean, I left a couple of tickets for my brother to come to the game and the guy didn't want to write my name out on the envelope, I think. So, <laughs> no, I think that's long forgotten now. It's a great club. Um, you know, I know the goalkeeping coach there. I know a few of the staff behind the scenes because they, they were actually Oval players as well. And Very good football club, real sort of old-fashioned club. And I'm sure with... You know, since a new manager's come in, he'll be uh, he'll be he'll be getting them away from the trouble that they've been in their league season. But we need to make sure, you know, me being at Yeovil Town before, Yeovil were the, the greatest giant killers, so they took the most scalps of league teams. So I know what it's like on the other side of the coin. They'll be coming here to cause an upset, and we need to make sure that we stand up, we fight, and we take the game to them, and we really go for winning this game of football because it's you know it'd be a great game against Chesterfield. Um, in the next round, but we've got to concentrate on who's in front of us and make sure that we're ready for that battle. Brilliant. Best of luck, Terry. Cheers.